Hi, I'm Leslie Sibillic. I'm senior curator here at the Heinz History Center. And this again is part of our women's history celebration. I guess we can say women's history from home. And you know, I'm sitting here with a small kind of artifact that's from my personal family collection. This is a small World War II toy that belonged to my father. You can see it was kind of treated real rough. It's missing wheels, it's missing propellers. It's a B-17, toy of a B-17 bomber. And it reminded me of another woman from Western Pennsylvania who we've dealt with in exhibits before, and that's Helen Ritchie. Helen was an extremely famous and very accomplished woman pilot. She was really a pioneer who became the first woman in 1935 to fly a commercial plane. But during World War II, Helen, like, like so many other people then, and frankly, like people right now with the situation and the pandemic that's going on, she wanted to find ways to help. And in fact, in 1942, Helen first went to Great Britain and flew for about a year with the British kind of air auxiliary service before coming back to the United States in 1943 when the WASP, that is the Women's Air Force Service Pilots, they, they were a group here, a civilian group, that was going to take over some of the roles that men used to do here to free the male pilots to go over and fight overseas. Helen joined the WASP and between 1943 and December of 1944, she flew an amazing 14 different kinds of airplanes. You know, it's a real reminder of how accomplished these women pilots were. And while I have to say that Helen did not actually fly a B-17 bomber, she did fly a B-25 bomber, as well as things like a Lockheed a P-38, a Banshee A-24, so everything from training planes to this heavy bomber, the B-25, and even some fighter pilot planes. And so she's another case of a remarkable woman who, when given the opportunity to do something, stepped up and did it. You know, you can find a little bit more about Helen Ritchie and some of the other things we've told about her story on links that will be included with this. And again, this is our Women's History Month from Home, and thanks for watching.